today I wanted to show you some examples as to why Clagent is the coolest feature we have come out with yet to date. It is a tool that allows you to scrape the internet programmatically for information about people or companies, and it can do so to a pretty insane degree and find information that no other tool can. Let's hop into it and I will show you some awesome examples of how to use Clagent. As you can see, we have a list of about 26 people that I've imported for this example. The first one that I decided to do was find funding information for each one of the companies I have in this clay table. All I asked it to do in this prompt was to search the internet to tell me how much money that this company and then I fed them the company domain for additional context has raised, if any. Include any of the different rounds if possible. I didn't provide any previous information other than its domain and it was able to scrape the information and find 2.2 million over one round from three investors. And the cool thing about Clayton is it doesn't just give you the information, but it gives you the source. Now we can click on this right here and determine whether this is actually true or not. And we can see right here that they have the information for us. And it even does so much as providing a confidence interval for any of the information that we have here. Great way to test Clagent accuracy is just to look through 10 to 20 of these, make sure that they're correct and score them based on their accuracy. And if it's good enough, you can apply it to tables that have 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 people in it. All right, so for the next one, I wanted to find an upcoming in-person or webinar event for each one of these companies to see if they were hosting one. What I did was I just asked Clagent, give me the name of an event that company name has coming up either online or in-person and they must be hosting this event. Again, very, very short prompting. It didn't really require any information beforehand and it was able to scrape the internet and find me things like Startup Showcase 2023, this upcoming event hosted by Ellen Maddox, has all of the justification right here, confidence level, and even how much it cost in OpenAI to do so. And you can see right here that this research took Clagent fractions of a cent. Next one here, we have finding the top three competitors for this company. And there's some good prompting information here. Give me the three closest competitors of company name whose website is this. It's always really good to provide things like a company domain as background just to ensure that it's actually looking for the specific company that you are looking for. Then I asked it to output the three company names in a comma separated list. I told it how to output the company names. And as you can see here, it did so quite well. For each one of these results, we have the top three competitors as well as justification as to where they found them. Next, what I asked Clayton to do was find the company headquarters for a specific company. And again, I kept it pretty short as just to find me the address of company names headquarters. Again, I provided them the domain as an anchor. I'll put the address, nothing else. All of these companies, we were able to find something at least where they're located broadly, but for some of them, we were even able to find their specific address. For example, right here, seven World Trade Center, floor 10. Next is use case in which Clayton didn't succeed for me as much as I thought it would, but I still wanted to include it just to show you the use case and some places in which I might've gone wrong. I was trying to find the pricing for the product or service that each one of these companies provides. And for the prompting, I said, search through company names website and find me the pricing of their product or service. And here is their website. First problem that I might've made here and is that I asked to search just through the company's website. That can be a problem because sometimes the website might be obscure and not provide any information. And there could be third party websites that provide me that information. This next prompt, which did much better was finding a video related to the company from either a YouTube or I meant to do Vimeo here source. And essentially what I wanted to do here was just find a video that I might be able to reference at some point in an email, or even just give me further information on what the company does. We are able to find information, for example, for this company, LYZR, and this leads us directly to their YouTube channel, which can be super helpful for finding more information on each one of these companies without having to do too much work. Next, I decided to challenge it a little bit more than I generally do, which is to get Collagen to find me recent social media posts from some of the founders of the company. What I said was find me a recent tweet, LinkedIn post, YouTube video, or Instagram post from full name, which is the founder of the company or CEO at company name. Just output the link, nothing else. And it was actually quite successful. It was able to find some tweets in some cases, some LinkedIn posts in some cases, and it worked better than I expected it to. All right, next can be one that is incredibly helpful for outbound email. And I asked Clayton to find me a list of open jobs and the titles associated with those jobs that we can then use to make inferences on possible problems that the company might be facing. All I did was ask Clayton to find me open jobs, gave me their domain and to give me a comma separated list with all of the job titles. And I told it specifically search anywhere on the internet for this information. And it was able to do so at a pretty high accuracy, for example, right here. And it was able to find them based on their LinkedIn pages, open jobs. Moving on to 
to the second to last one here. We have finding social media links for each one of the companies. I essentially just prompted Clagent to find a bulleted list of all of the company's social media accounts, once again, providing them the company domain, and just say the list should contain links to each of the accounts. And right here, you can see we are able to find the LinkedIn for this company, the LinkedIn and the Twitter for this company. And the very last one is to just list out as many employee names as possible. This turned out to also be somewhat effective. You can see it did it really well here, but it wasn't able to do it for all of them. I think what it was really looking for was like a legitimate list of employee names as opposed to scraping them and aggregating them. That was also just another prompting error on my end. I hope that this provided you some good inspiration for how to use it and feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn if you have any questions regarding Collagen or how to use it.